is a dramatization based on court transcripts and personal interviews. Some names have been changed. privacy in this house. Oh, isn't she that cute little flute player? Mm -hmm. Oh, good for the lips. Now, who took my blusher? Not me. Why don't you use retin-A and a paintbrush? Ha, ha, ha. Hey, Mom, Junior's having another one of his snits. He wants to know when you're going to get the lock on the bathroom door fixed. Well, I've been keeping up your daddy about that. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, Junior. Oh, here you go, huh? 
Here. Yeah, Joe? Out of here. How was the party? It was fun. What did you do to my shoes? Well, I did not intend for sneakers to be gray. They're my sneakers. You gonna see her again? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> oh, honey. You know, your skin is too sensitive. You don't need to shave every day. What I need is to get dressed in privacy, which is impossible in this house. Thank well, you. You don't want Angela to see you with blood on your collar, do yeah, you? Mama, she just invited me to a party. She hasn't proposed yet. Okay, meet you in a minute. Uh, Angela. Uh, Hi. How are you doing? Fine. I was wondering, uh, you want to go to a movie this weekend? Sometime? Sure, sounds good. Yeah. All right, yeah. great. Uh, um, we well, go to dinner first, if you want. Okay, I warn you, I eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, That's great. And you won't have to sit there and watch me. Okay, well, why don't you Come pick on, me up after work? I get off at six. At six, okay. <laughs> oh, wait, um, wh where do you work? Uh, my mom's shop. Okay. Oh, good, good. I like that pool. Okay, that looks really nice. Do you like it? Yeah, I think it looks good. The guys are going to go crazy. Thanks a lot. Angela. Hi, Mike. You're early. Uh, I can't leave just yet. Well, this ain't like the place my mom goes to. Well, probably not. Um, the reason I came early, do you think I could get a haircut? Uh, hold on a minute, Mrs. Klein. Um, Michelle's about to do Mrs. Klein. Trish, can you do a walk-in? Yeah, maybe 20 minutes. I'm doing some right now. Should have called earlier. <laughs> what are you doing in there? Oh, it's the tannin booth. Yeah. First one came saw. It's real popular. Is Mrs. Klein ready? Uh, just a minute. Um, Trish might be able to get to you early. Why don't you just sit down and make yourself comfortable? Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hey, Mike, I'll cut your hair. Uh, um, I don't want to ruin your schedule or nothing. Oh, they can wait. Come on. Sit down. Sorry I kept you waiting, Mrs. Clark. Oh, Michelle's ready for you. Yeah, we're going to raise our hands today. Thanks. Sure. Oh. Ooh, I don't know. I think I like it long. I mean, this is great hair, man. Yeah, really? Well, we could cut it all off. You know, just keep the back long. Maybe just a trim. Chicken. Okay, close your eyes. Ooh. That's a pretty blouse. Come on. Bless your heart. That tickles. That tickles? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, all right. Jimmy Sue, doesn't the color look great? Yeah, it's good. What are you doing? You stop, don't stop. Okay, you're the boss. You got great hands. So, what do you want to see? There's a... Die hard and Bill Durham looks kind of good. Stop. You told me not to stop. That, that's enough for right now. I, whatever you want to see is fine. Okay, I'll call for the times. Please, Mrs. Finger. What, am I hurting you? No. Are you afraid you might have to stand up? <laughs> okay. Are you ready for the trim of your life? Need any help? No, I got it. You swinging by the post office? I'll, I'll do it later. I'm late for work. College says the 15th. They mean the 15th, and you're not going to get a room. Okay. 
I'll just have to drive faster. <laughs> you get any more speeding tickets, and your pot is going to have his dreams. Someone to carry his too. Okay, I'm on my way. Roxanne will pick you up. Okay, bye bye. Is Angela around? We kind of had a date for the drag races. Oh, she wasn't sure. Some guy from the band had tickets for a concert. I wish I'd known. Wouldn't have bought these. They got those killer trucks down there. Kind of crush cars. <laughs> I hope so. I love those. <laughs> Me too. It's a shame to let them go to waste. Yeah, well, she tried to call. At least she said she was gonna. That's the thing about teenage girls. They're so flatty. Bye. Bye. Who's that guy? Frankie Willen. His father owns a body shop over in Mabel. That Corvette is one awesome machine. Rebuilt it himself. See you guys. I saw it. See, they changed the bodies, but the thing about vets has always been to get up and go. That in the hand, <laughs> yes, sir. The vet who takes care of my hamster even makes house calls. <laughs> if you didn't have such sharp color sense, Alec, people might think you were a total nerd. You guys ready? Yeah. What did I say? I'll have a chili dog with extra chili. Can order of onion rings with ketchup on the side and uh, hey, Jimmy, double chocolate. Hey, Jimmy, how about here? Mike, what do you think? Hi. Come on. And you guys, you want a comb? Hey, she'll bring us ice cream. It's good. It'll be all running. Sorry. Where's he going? And, okay, uh, uh, chili cheese dog, right? Yeah. And three dot root beers. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hi. If you kiss her, then don't kiss me. If you kiss me, then don't kiss her. Okay. Just like a puppy dog. Don't you want to give him a cuddle? Puppies never did a thing for me. Well, next time he needs a haircut, you just tell him where my chair is. Yes, your change. get that kind of money? Vegas? Vegas? Man, you don't need to go to Vegas. What, islands? Atlantic City, man. Last time I was up there, it didn't cost me a nickel. I'll no take this do. one out. I'll take this one out for you, man. You look, say, look, hold on. I gotta, I gotta take this one out. I want to hear this, all right? I'll, I'll be right back. All right. We have a special today on How you doing, Sam? Bye-bye. Just breakfast for those outdoor barbecues. There's a five-pound limit for her Hey, Dad. You want to have a nice day? Hey, artist. What? You can run his outfit real quick. I'm, I'm late for my I bed. owe you one. Oh, I get your head down on your shoulder. I think it looks corny. I think it needs to cut it short and have it long on the back. Yeah. But you, I think we could do a whole makeover on you. You know, give you some highlights and stuff. I think it'd be real good. Yeah, really. You just call Michelle. She'll set you up. All right. We'll take care of you. Okay. Okay. Fine. Bye. 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 I need a cross check on the uh, 32 ounce size can of Lolly's Two Tomatoes. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I help you with anything? You want people to see us talking? What's wrong with talking? That woman I was speaking to, she knows your mother. 
She didn't see me. Excuse me? You come to my shop and nobody's there? You, you come on to me at the drive-in? You hang around me at the supermarket? What's going on? Uh, um, I'm gonna go, this is wilted. I'm gonna go get you another. Well, they're, they're taking all that Can I help you with anything else? Like what? I could ride home with you. Help you carry him in. Here. Yeah, put him away. Uh, maybe have some iced tea. Get a tip. I'm, uh, I'm punched out. I could have the rest of the day off. <laughs> you are full of surprises. <sighs> you sure don't kiss like a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Kissing's always seemed kind of overrated to me. <laughs> you just solved the mystery for me. Love's full of mysteries. <laughs> You're huge. <laughs> <laughs> to wear those stupid hats and I could do spiral curls. You'd look like an angel. Yeah. You don't have to go to that much trouble. But if you wanted to, you could drive out and see my solo. When, Friday night? Mm hmm I'm oh, sorry, sugar. I'm busy. Are you going shooting with Daddy? Oh, no. Thank God. Target's too hey, so boring. Michael's coming over. He's never going to believe I forgot about the drag races. Hi, Angela. Hi. I'm Miss Finger. I'm Michael. You ready? Always. Michael, you want to take me to the concert on Friday? I'm sorry, Angela. I'm busy. I can't. Sorry, Angela. I'm busy. <laughs> hey. Hey, darling. How was your evening? Okay, nothing special. What'd you do? Um, Michelle and I got something to eat. At the drive-in? You've been following me again? McQuaid, he thought he saw you in the Jeep with some guy. Bart McQuaid, he's a lion peckerwood sleaze bag, okay? Okay, okay. Don't get all bent out of shape. Hey, I was out in the Jeep with a guy. His name was Mike Ketman. He's a friend of Angela's. We had a talk. I told him she's a good girl. I also told him her father has a short fuse. I'm sorry. I love you so much. You know that. Well, then you shouldn't listen to what people say. Somebody says you're running around. I just go.
you're crazy. I know, darling. <laughs> I know. Mm. Oh, where's Junior? He's working. Mm. Oh, boy. Uh, you have a time. Tell them that we're eating. It's good to have, Mama. Thank you. Captain Eating. You know what zone that is, sir? He will not tell them that we're having lunch. But it could be a lot of things. I really have to take a look. Come on. Tell them. You want some more mashed potatoes? No, thanks. No, no, no. The dents are usually going to go bad. Well, Mama Junior's not working. Well, how old the unit is? Here for you, honey. Three years, five years. I mean, yeah, he told me. He's working overtime for his college fund. Uh -huh. No, he's not. He's out with Angela Finger's mother. Well, okay, well, let's start at the beginning. Have you checked the breakers? What? They're they're in a box on the wall. Sit down, Mama. Okay. So wait till Daddy's off yeah. the phone. No, sir. Just put the phone down and you go look. See if one of them is flipped in the off position. Right. right well, give, give me your number here. Right. Junior and Angela's mother, right. they're out together? I'm going to check those breakers. What are they doing? Mama, they're sleeping together. Everybody's talking about it, Mama. Well, all right, I'll, I'll talk to you for a <coughs> That's you. A lovely rose. I've thought of you in a million ways. But I have to confess, never as a butterfly. <laughs> oh. Oh, I've never in my entire life wanted a man like I want you. You make me feel so special, so beautiful. Oh, I can't even find words to describe it. I can't even believe it. No, no, listen to me. Listen to me. I have to tell you something. I've never been happy in my whole life. You make me happy. I love you. Terry's a fool. Nothing should be as important as taking care of you. He should put you up on a marble pedestal. <laughs> Putting me on a pedestal or laying bricks, it's a tough choice. Why'd you marry somebody like that? I was 18 to be home. You need a man who understands how delicate a rose can be. You need a knight in shining armor. That was Dave and I <sighs> on Atlanta's Love Songs Radio. Mm. I'll be right back after this 90 second news break. Oh, don't stop, don't stop. <clears throat> I gotta get a CD player in here one of these Bolton days. Fulton County Sheriff's deputy was arrested in Adams <sighs> Park, man, late last night on charges he repeatedly sodomized his three-year-old stepdaughter. The man was taken into wrong? custody after neighbors... I don't need to hear that kind of stuff. It makes me sick. Just don't stop holding me, okay? It's another station. Oh, my God. Relax. I'll take care of it. Get away from my wife. This is my shop. You don't give orders here. If I ever catch you near her again, I'll strip you buck naked and tie you to the front of my truck. Hey, you think I'm some kind of a tramp? I didn't call you a tramp. What do you suppose I see in him? Or is that why you want to strip him naked? Get out of his way. Take care of this. <laughs> Don't push me.
were out with her, weren't you? Your mother called the store. You never clocked in. So I took the day off. Junior, she's a married woman. She's an unhappily married woman. And you're gonna fix that? A boy who hardly shaves yet? Look, we'll talk about this later, all right? Your mother's talking to you, son. Look, you guys don't understand anything about me and Jimmy Sue. Well, I understand that she's gonna be off in her head to mess around with a pit squeak like you. She needs me. She needs somebody to take care of her. Junior, she has a husband. Well, he doesn't make her happy. And you do? I mean, what do you do? You take her flowers, you, you, know, you tell her stories. There's more than that to making a woman happy, son. How would you know, Dad? Go ahead! Huh? Hit me! Go ahead, huh? That's gonna, that's hey, gonna solve everything, stop right? Stop it! Oh, huh? no, stop it! Junior? Now stop it. You are not gonna see her again, okay? And that is final. You guys don't own me. While you live in this house, you will do as your mother says. And until you learn that, you are grounded. Now go to your room, son. Finger, please. Speaking. This is Mrs. Kettner. Hello? I'm here. Leave my boy alone. Maybe you better talk to him about that. No, I am talking to you. If you ever see my boy again. Listen, I can't talk to you right now. If you ever see my boy again, I am calling your husband and telling him what is going on. Are you threatening me? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. You make any trouble for me, honey, I'm gonna drive nails in your son's coffin. Angela and me both. Oh, God, I wish he was dead. Can't you find some way we can be together without him? Take care of me. I swear to you, I will.
not too shabby. Whose is it? Guess. Are you serious? <laughs> Need some work. Oh. <laughs> oh, man, I'll get it running like a Ferrari. Well, your father and I thought if you were hanging around working on it. And when we talked about getting a car for graduation, I never thought you meant anything as cool as this. I got $200 saved up. I can help with the payments. Well, we do expect that you'll show us that you've come to your senses. You mean Jimmy? A person who's old enough to have a car like this is old enough to judge whether his relationships make sense, don't you think? This thing with Jimmy it was it's just something I had to try. Which means what, Jimmy? I mean, it's over. I broke it off. <sighs> she was using your son. That isn't what love is all about. I love you, Mama. <laughs> hey, why don't you take her for a spin, see how she handles it. Okay. Come on, get in. <laughs> they bought it for you, didn't they? No, I, I worked. I saved. I really did. No, your mama bought it to keep you away from me. Hmm? I can't lie to you. If they'd only be honest. We'd all do so much better. I'm sick of never being able to spend any time with you. Yeah, well, you think I like living like this? Always been afraid people will see us? Think I, it's easy on me going home to him night after night? Well, don't, then. Don't go home to him. I got $200. We can get, get a motel room, stay the night. I never spent the night together, but y'all have spent every night for the rest of my life. <laughs> sure, you'll take care of me all night, and Terry will beat the hell out of me in the morning. I promise you, I'll take care of you. When? Uh, like uh -huh. Hey, Aris. Uh, hey, Mike. You live downtown, right? Look, look this is about drugs, man. No, That's not, right. not about, it's not about drugs. Um, I'm looking... I need somebody to... You think you know somebody who can do a hit for me? <laughs> well, yeah, you know, Madonna is a close person, a friend of mine. Yeah, I'm serious. A killing, a professional one. I'm, they can't be traced. Oh, no, um, well, you, you just want to do it iced. Are you talking like, you know, the whole horse's head thing? <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, if you don't know anybody, just say so. All right. That kind of work ain't cheap, man. Right? How much? Hold well, uh, If you got two grand, then I might know some guy. the show? Yeah, we can make love every day until noon. I'll be the barker. You'll be the star. Do the dance of the seven veils on the midway. No, no. You know what? We should work our way to Vegas. We should we should break the bank and then hightail it to Tahiti. <laughs> okay? And Tahiti will buy a yacht. 
We go to Hong Kong. Yeah. Meet the Dalai Lama. You should be a rider. <laughs> Let's do it. We can never Let's do, do it. it. Why not? Terry! <laughs> I found somebody who will do it. <laughs> do it? Who? You want to know his name? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I never thought. I mean, I know you. I thought that. I don't know what I thought. I mean, I never. You mean this? No, no. Well, no way. It's too dangerous. Look, nothing's happened yet. I, I got. I got. I only got two hundred dollars, but I got to find eighteen hundred more. That's what it costs. Two thousand dollars. Okay. If I have to rob a bank, I will. Oh, honey. <laughs> I'll get it all. It'll be in cash. They won't be able to trace anything to us. It's too dangerous. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Terry's evil. He's evil. It's not wrong to kill a man who has sex with his own daughter, who hits the, the loveliest woman in the world. I don't deserve you. How'd I ever find somebody like you? I just came, came riding by. My shining armor. Looking for a fair lady to love and protect. And you do, you take such good care of me. Such good care of me. Hey, come on, you yeah. got to be in there. next week when I'm away on my senior cruise. He works construction. He's not going to be hard to find. We could tell I don't need no advice, rich boy. 144 slug in the back of the head. It's too big. some new friends think about where your life is headed towards port of prince last thing they told me i am serious michael and think about what this is doing to your life hi how are you you sweat things too much mama you didn't used to lie to me junior i sweat that i don't lie to you i saw you with her last week in the car you really embarrassed me Think about your life. 
Have fun. For coming. Sure. Iced tea, please. Uh, two. Two. Um, Junior is away on his class trip. Well, I guess you know that. He's going to college in the fall. His sister's never had a chance to go. He's the first. Please, when he comes back, don't see him again. You're a mother. I think you understand what I'm saying. Oh, I don't feel like a mother when I'm with him. That's not what I'm feeling. He makes me feel like I'm 16 again. Don't you ever dream about it? Don't you ever wish you could just go back and start over? I mean, erotic time travel. <laughs> I guess you don't. I'm not going to let you play with my boy. Wouldn't you rather him experience love for the first time with someone who really loves him instead of some teenage flirt? What he's getting from you has nothing to do with love. You gotta have an affair, Blanche. What? Thanks. You've forgotten what it feels like to be in love, if you ever knew. You stay away from him. Who decides? Isn't he? Kevin, she's with me, man. I just want to dance with her. She doesn't want to dance with you. Well, why don't you let her decide that? I'm just out for me. Have you shot? I know a hitman. I've already had one man killed. Sure you have, big shot. Come on, let's go to bed before the FBI gets here. You, you're out of here. Sure, you number five, right over there. Okay, put that crack right down. I need to make a call to Kennesaw, Georgia. Can you give me this number? Sure. Use phone number two. Hello? Yes? Yeah. 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 Are you insane, call me? 
here? Did the Swivel kill him yet? <sighs> no, we're watching TV. I mean, Nobody's done anything. The boys were in. I paid him the money. Maybe he's going to do it tonight. You paid in advance. Look, that's the only way they're going to do it. <sighs> you idiot. They're sitting in some bar right now laughing at you. No, maybe it's going to happen tonight. Listen to me, you little wimp. You're in trouble. Terry's going to get that bank statement. He's going to wonder what happened to that 1800. You took it out of your jaw. Your joint account. Are you crazy? He's supposed to be dead, Michael. Look, get out of there, all right? Just go to a motel. I'll be there tomorrow. We'll go to Las Vegas or something. You know, break the bank. No, I can't see you anymore. Not till he's dead. What are you talking about? You're no killer, Michael. I'm sleeping with him again. I'm so sorry. I blew it. It's all right. It's okay. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe you shouldn't have done any of this to begin with. What? Do you want to be with me or not? It's just all gotten out of hand. I had to tell Terry something to explain the 1800s, so I told him it was blackmail to keep you quiet. About, about Angela? I told him the truth. I told him I really made you crazy. Me? You told him it made me crazy? What was I supposed to say? You needed money for a hitman? You shouldn't have told him anything! Doesn't matter. Either way, he wants to kill you. Are those bones? No, ma'am. I can take the bones out for you in about a minute, so. Well, I'm having a very special dinner party, and I don't want to be bothered with bones. Is he a friend of yours? Hey, I wanted some of those. Hello? How you doing? Hello? Is that for me? It's the wrong number. I've been waiting for a call from Alice. I don't want to go to Chicago. Then you go to Chicago. Give it a few months. Um, Let Matt and Alice talk? find a college for you. Can we talk about this later? No, much. Done it first, okay? You're seeing her again, aren't you? Just get out, will you? Now you don't want to go to Alice's because I, of her. I said I got a stomach ache. Admit it, Junior, you're seeing her. I'm not. I'm not seeing her. Oh? Then who is this for? You searched my room? I don't believe you. Is this what you spend your money on? I mean, money your father worked hard to earn? Mine. No, I it's am mine. telling this. She is not going to get my hands on Give it to me. Junior. Give it to me! Junior! Oh. Ah. Mine! Give it to me now! How you doing? Hey. He just stayed on the line and he was just breathing. I've been staying out late. Hey, you've got to keep to your room. It's the only place you're no, safe. No, I hate my room. I, I get so lonely for you. Oh, God, I miss you so much. Shut up. 
I need a gun. Can't you, can't you buy one? No, I, I can't buy one. It, it, it can be traced to he's at. Get me one Terry's. I'll keep his uh, 38 in my truck. I'll pick it up tomorrow. I'm away to the dentist. What time is your phone? 10 o'clock. Can you be at the shop? I'll be there before 9. All right. I'm in trouble. What kind of trouble? This guy wants to kill me. Why? He thinks I'm mixed up with his wife or something. Mike, everybody knows who you're mixed up with. I got, I got a plan. I'm just gonna scare this guy. You know, I just gotta teach him a lesson. But I need some things done for me first. Are they, like, hard things? Can I trust you? I'm in trouble. Terry's 38th been stolen. You know I took it. You told me to take it. I didn't think you were serious. Give it back to me. No, I can't. Look, I filed a serial number off. He'll notice. Then you better get it over with. Look, how's he gonna know he doesn't check your truck? He knows. He knows. I told him it was stolen. Why did you tell him? I reported it to the police. I mean, what was he gonna say when they start asking him questions? Why did you tell the police? Oh, my God, think about it. Just think. If he were to get shot with his own gun out of my car, we better have an alibi, right? Right? Right. Okay. Okay, we have one now. Look, yeah. look just calm down, okay? I'm calm. Look, uh, your problem isn't the police. Your problem's Terry. What do you mean? He left the house with a gun. Maybe he followed me. He might be watching us right now. <laughs>
down your pocket. Why? It's your alibi. We'll be back before the show is over if people will see us. Look, he's not going to let you in looking like this. Will you button that up? Let's go. out front. Don't forget to leave it and drive. Is that the same as D? Yes. Now we're just gonna scare him. Right. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Let's just get this over with. Is Angela home? No. Who are you? Tiffany. We know each other from school. She know you were coming? No. I... Uh, there's something wrong with my car. Could I call my dad? I guess they're not home yet. Do you know anything about starting cars? Yeah. Okay. Let me get my jacket. See what it sounds like when you try to start the car. Sounds like the battery's dead. Pop the hood for me. Try it again. this trigger right now. Who the 
hell are you? Oh god, no, 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 no! your loss. Whose gun is this? My husband's. What's he doing in here? Uh, he keeps it in his nightstand. And this girl came to the door, and, and when he got up to answer it, she, he told me to get his gun. You must have known you could handle a big gun like that. Terry thought a woman should be able to protect herself. He used to take Jimmy Sue and her daughter out to the range. Excuse me, sir, but who are you? Ben Root. I'm a brother. Sound like Terry was expecting trouble. Oh, I think so. He left instructions for his funeral. He told us what he wanted just last week. You having business problems? This wasn't revenge. It wasn't. It was It was carefully planned. The gunman wore a mask. He was a professional killer. Professional? A couple days ago, uh, one of his guns was stolen, and um, I reported it to the police. And he got, when he found out I'd done that, he got real upset. Well, maybe you felt like you knew somebody that held a grudge against him. I said, why? Did he open the door? I mean, if he, if he was so worried, uh, you know, wouldn't he have taken his gun? Are you saying that he had himself killed with his own gun? Why? He was afraid of being blackmailed. Over what? a feeling this was going to come out. That what was going to come out, Miss Finger? He was having sex with our daughter. And he was afraid. Angela, was your father molesting you? He wasn't a bad person. Is that a yes? Mm -hmm. 
about how long? Long time. The first time I was, uh, I think, 11. And you didn't tell? Why not? I was afraid. Afraid he might hurt you? He said if either of us told, he'd kill us. Angela, do you think your father had himself shot? I don't know. I wasn't home. George. Thank you. I'll be talking to you again real soon. And I want you to know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just got a call from a Mr. Wilton. His wife's a school teacher. She heard about the case on the news. What'd she say? She heard a kid bragging about having a guy killed by a hitman. And she said it's common knowledge at the school that this same kid's having an affair with Jimmy Sue Finger. Switchboard. Get him with the DA. In the middle of the night. Wake him up. Tom Sharon. George Malone, Tom. We got a Sherry Finger. Got his face blown off in his front yard. Got any suspects? Two of them. At least. Morning, son. Morning. Where is everybody? They're in church. Close, son. 
I'm really sorry, sir. It looked fine to me. Well, let me see your license. Oh, I'm, I, I must have left it at home. Doesn't have a license. You know a fella that lives around here, Terry Finger? Yeah, yeah, I know him. You know he was shot last night? Terry? No, no. You mind coming down to the station and answering a couple of questions about Terry? Sure, I mean, I'll tell you what I can. Uh, you know you don't have to do this, son. You have the right to an attorney. I ain't got nothing to hide. You want to follow us down to the station? Okay. Hey, where's Junior? Still asleep? Uh, he went to the store to rent a movie. Get him, Terry Finger was murdered last night. Just three bags in the radio. Two children. They don't know who did it, but he was wearing a mask and he was dressed in black. A police spokesman. Funeral arrangements for Mr. Finger have not yet been announced. What video store did he go to? Another news. I don't know. An early morning fire in Doraville left a family of four homeless. sat in here till 4 a.m. this morning crying her eyes out over you. you. Told you about me? We know a lot about you, Mike. A lot about the whole situation. But I'll tell you one thing that really leaked out at us. That woman really loves you. I didn't kill her husband. Well, son, you're going to have to get straight in your head about this thing. You're the one that's going to have to live with this. Live with what? We'll take you and Jimmy Sue Finger, for instance. You attracted to older women. I mean, that's easy to understand. Nothing wrong with it. And when you find out that a woman you love is hurting? Incest is a terrible thing. She told you about the incest? Mike, we told you. We know all about this thing. And we know that you've told us some untruths. I didn't kill her husband. I was at the movies. I got the stub right here. <clears throat> Who'd you go with? A girl named Sally Tepper. Tell us what she looks like, Mike. She's short. She's kind of skinny. That's the girl who uh, rang Terry's doorbell. See, we've got the description of her car from when it was parked out front. We know the whole thing. We know that you love Jimmy Sue very much. We know how torn up you got when Terry threatened her. We know how Sally drove you over there in her car. The one thing we wonder about is where'd you get the gun? You came out of the truck. A little louder, Mike, for the tape. It came out of the truck. And where were you when Sally went to the door, Mike? I was around the corner of the garage. And where's the gun now? I threw it in the lake. 
Now, I suppose it was Jimmy Sue who told you it'd be safe to ask for Angela since she wouldn't be at home. No. Look, Jimmy knew I hated Terry, but she did not know I was going to kill him. Son, the gun came from her truck. She didn't know it was me that took it. Mike, we're going to be honest with you. You could go to prison for a long time. Maybe for the rest of your life. If, and this is a big if, if you did this alone. But if some older person helped you plan it. Even if they didn't know exactly when it was going to happen. But I mean, if you could tell us this, then a judge very well might go more lenient with a boy your age. I killed Terry alone. Jimmy didn't have anything to do with it. All right? Mike, you've done real good here today. Now, Andy's gonna go get a stenographer now. While we're waiting, can we get you anything? A soda, a snack, or something? Can I have a hug? Keep moving along. Hey, Jeff, 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 keep it going. Tom Sharon, please. The office. Hi, this is uh, Blanche Ketman. Uh, Can I take a oh, this is getting ridiculous. I have been leaving messages for him for two weeks. What does it take to get him to return my call? Me, Can I put you on hold, <sighs> All right. Hello, ma'am. No. You can't. Oh, yes, hello. Oh, uh, look, I gotta call you right back. Uh huh. Uh, there's something I have to tell you, Blanche. What do you think you're doing coming around here? I know my, my lawyers are gonna kill me when they find out I came over here. I debated all night about it, because I know it's rough for you right now, too. <laughs> you must think I'm some kind of an idiot. Mike told me in advance he was going to do this. And I didn't believe him any more than anybody else did. He also said that if he got caught, That he was going to commit suicide and that he would not put you through the humiliation of his going to prison. Come inside. No. Now, I don't know whether he will or not, and I, I, I didn't believe him the first time. I don't know. I'm afraid not to believe him this time. I don't know if you can do anything. But I had to tell you. Thank you for that. The only thing that's important to me in my life is my son. Oh, thank you. Do they have doctors? Is he getting any help in there? Yeah, he's talking to a doctor. I know I need to see him. I don't think I want you talking to him. 
I, uh, I don't want to make things any worse than they already are. I understand. I understand that. I do. I don't want to go against your wishes. Lady. Michael, my job is to advise you about your best chance to beat this thing. I want to beat it, Mr. Berry. Then let me cut you a deal, son. Have you talked to Sharon? Are they going to prosecute anybody else? He wouldn't say. Listen, Michael, the discovery file is full of police reports on Jimmy Sue. They obviously suspect her. I'll go to him. I'll explain to him how she influenced you. You give me all the details, and they'll go for it. Otherwise, you're going to go to jail for a very long time, Michael. Murphy, who's been waiting to see you. Five. Oh, Karen. I don't believe it. You made it. I said I was your aunt. Oh, this is so hard. I love you. I, I love you. <laughs> I miss you so much. You look great. Really? Yeah. How long do we have? We never know. Not long. Stay strong, Michael. <laughs> what do you think's gonna happen at the trial? Nobody knows. My mom trying to talk to the cops, but they're not, they're not saying nothing, and Sharon's not talking to Barry. If you crumble, my whole world will come tumbling down. I pulled the trigger. I have to pay for it. I'm paying, too. Being apart from you. Oh, do you know what the nights are like? I know. <gasps> Only thing that keeps me going is knowing that we'll be together someday. My knight in shining armor. <sighs> hey, I want for us to be married. Really? You want married? Really? I can sign a paper this afternoon. <laughs> I want to be your common law wife, and I want the whole world to know. What do you say? Forever. Forever. We don't deny, ladies and gentlemen, that this 18-year-old young man pulled the trigger that killed Terry Finger. We don't deny that the defendant was romantically involved with the victim's wife. What the defense will prove, however, is that the facts of this case just don't add up to the vicious and premeditated murder that Mr. Sharon has described. You'll hear how Michael Ketman fired in self-defense to protect himself from a man who believed trying to kill him. She's scared. 
I want him to examine the evidence, ladies and gentlemen. We're confident that you'll find that this unfortunate act wasn't murder at all, but rather the far lesser crime of voluntary manslaughter. Mike said he just wanted to scare this guy. And you believed him. And then he turned around and shot Terry Finger. He must have felt betrayed. I felt betrayed before that. When I saw Mrs. Finger in the door, looking at me. But you expected her to be home, didn't you? I mean, why would seeing her make you feel betrayed? Because Mike had promised that she wouldn't be able to identify me. Not Terry, but she wouldn't be able to identify you. Did you ask him about this later? He told me not to worry about it. And why was that, Sally? He said she was in on it. Okay, Michael. Let me see if I understand this. You're sitting in the drive-in with Sally Tepper and you get the idea to go over to the fingers. Yes, sir. Now, did Sally or Jimmy Sue or anyone else know that you planned to kill Terry? I didn't plan to kill Terry. I just planned to scare him. Did Jimmy Sue know that you planned to scare him? No, sir. She had no knowledge of anything I was going to do that night. Hmm. Really? Well, you testified that you took the murder weapon from the glove compartment of her car. Now, how'd you know the gun was there? I'd seen it before. She took it out one time and said, I've got this for protection. I see. Michael. <clears throat> In a notarized statement to the police, you said, whatever I get, I deserve. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Would counsel and the defendant please step forward? Mr. Foreman, have you reached a verdict? We find the defendant guilty of felony murder. <gasps> the offense of felony murder carries a mandatory life sentence. And this court has no choice but to impose it upon you at this time. Thank you for your services, jurors. This court is adjourned. he refuses to testify against her. We can't touch her. You're not just giving up. If he'd rather go to prison than cooperate, what choice do I have? I'll find you one.
on the market? About six months. It was a few bones. It's got a pool. Yes, ma'am. 36 feet. Much maintenance on that? Well, I take care of mine myself. 15 minutes a week. This is Rebecca Stevens on Atlanta's Love Songs Radio. This is going out to Sarah from her dreamboat stage. To Todd, who's working down at the power station from Candy. She said, Todd, you'll always be the light of my life. And from Jimmy Sue to Michael. Jimmy Sue misses you, Michael. And she said, I love you. And I want you to know we'll both get through this. And we will be together someday. Here's their song, Stay the Night. You do everything right, they're going to grow up fine. <laughs> oh, Michael, tell me, what did I do? <laughs> Kill Terry is out there spending his life in shit. She's out there alone with no one to take care of her. Well, we'll see how long that lasts, right? Why are you doing this? You think it's been easy on her? It's been a nightmare. Junior, she's bought herself a new house. She's got Angela stuck away in a trailer somewhere. Don't you see the number that she's done on you? Why didn't she think she want Angela away from the house? Huh? She wants to find somebody new. No. The house is for us. 
Jimmy is my wife, Mama, my common law wife. She signed an official paper. She sent a copy of it to me. Everything she does is for me. Everything I do is for her. She's out there alone. And she's lonely and she needs help. And I want my family to give her that help. I want you to take her in. I want you to treat her like my wife. You want me. You're gonna have to take Jimmy. What's your secret? What? You keep your house so neat. I mean, things are lined up like little soldiers. I can't keep my brain tidy, let alone my house. <laughs> well, you're seeing it on a good day, Jimmy Sue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, what'll I do? Yeah, uh, so we're on the other side, huh? Okay. Where are the girls? I thought they'd be here. No, no, they're both at work all day. My husband, too. Well, I hope Junior really appreciates what we're doing here. We had some great times in this car. I heard. <laughs> no, I don't mean those. I mean just sitting at the lake, listening to our songs on the radio. Things like that. Your dedications are pretty. Oh, I didn't know you listened to Love Songs Radio. Junior told me to listen. And he told me to treat you like family. Hey, I want to ask you something. You know what I've been thinking? I want to make a tape form of some of our favorite songs. And what if I taped a letter on the end? Could you bring it in for me? Well, there's this one guard, Esther, who really likes Junior and me, but... I don't think she'd let me take a tape in. Oh, okay, too bad. Hey, what about smokes? Yeah, people take them in. Well, Angela's got one of these teeny little recorders. I bet it fit right in a pack. I can never do anything like that. Oh, don't be such a prune. You know what the best part would be? What? Michael could talk to me right there in the visiting room, and, and you could record it, and it would just be like I was right there. Well, they would like that. And, of course, you'd hear it all. I want you to know why we don't keep any secrets from you now. Oh, 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 Jimmy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> well, I tell you, you know, a tape would make Junior's day. Wouldn't it? And, and you know, you know what would make it even better for him? What? If I rode down there with you. They never let you in. No, no, I know. I just stay in the car. What do you say? Well, it is a long drive. <laughs> okay. You got two women who really love you, and even though you can only see one of them today, this tape will prove they're both working together to get you out of there. Here. That's from me. And here. I love you, Junior. <laughs> She's not the only one. Talk to your mama, and this machine will carry your words and your love back to your wife, who's waiting outside, but who knows she's in your heart. What's the matter? <laughs> so unfair. What is? That he's in there, we're out here. He did what he did. Guess I'll never know why. Maybe because he wanted to hurt you. What? Well, didn't he hurt you? Of course he did, but... Why would he want to hurt me? What did I do? Well, 
there you always are, you know, the strong one. Treating them like babies, always in on their business, doing everything for them. A good mother makes her child able to go out in the world and survive. I thought I was doing all the right things. Well, I, I, I don't know how to say this gently, but I guess I can just say it. Michael's a very sexual person. His fantasies made him lose his judgment about what was right and what was wrong. Because he fell in love with you. Because he wanted to show you he was a man. I mean, independent of you. So he, he had to find himself a woman he knew would drive you crazy. You. <laughs> sure. And you reacted just the way he knew you would, didn't you? And now I've ruined his life. No, no, you haven't ruined it. No, together, you and me, we're gonna... We're gonna show him how to start over. You and me. Okay. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. God, is it as depressing as it looks? Oh, it's not so bad. Bad thing is when you gotta leave. Now you're gonna have to wait in the waiting room right inside there. Okay. And they gotta leave you. Sometimes they give us as much as a couple of hours. I'll take every minute you can, honey. I know I would. Hi. Good seeing you again, Bob. All right. I need to check that, ma'am. Yours too. There you go. Thank you. Hey, sir. Letty's girlfriend come with you? Well, yeah, I want to keep his spirits up, you know. Let's see. Well, he's waiting for you. Have a good one. Okay. Don't worry about it, Mama. Michael? A couple guys beat me up, okay? Well, did you tell anybody? That's not how it works here. Mm -hmm. I saw her outside. Thanks for coming. All I got is Six. Open it. Why well, can't you have one of these? She wants you to take it back to your cell. Listen to it, and then uh, give her an answer, and I'll give it to her next time I come. You're helping her. you are doing it. Junior, you never wanted for anything, did you? I mean, when you were at home? What do you mean? Jimmy Sue says that I, uh... I drove you to her. <gasps> you ain't what drove me to Jimmy, Mama. Well, she seems to know everything that I'm feeling. <sighs> I know what attracted you to her. That's a lie. <laughs> You're lying. You hate Jimmy, so you've hated her from the beginning. No, it started out like that. So why do you always do this? Why do you think you can horn in on everything in my life? Junior, Jimmy is just helping me see what I got to crap. If I told Jimmy the truth about you, I'd have told her you'd never let us love anybody besides you, and that's exactly what you're doing right now. God, I think we're all losing our minds. Yeah, I'm losing one mind. <laughs> Try that again and we'll do it.
will take your whole family. I didn't know that taking letters weren't allowed. You signed off on the rules. You need damn good and well. Don't talk to her like that. She's a taxpayer. She pays your salary. I'm not talking to you, you tramp. Hey, you! Hey! That woman's grieving. And she loves her son. But what does the, the Georgia prison system care about love, right? Just lock him up. Throw him away. No, lady. You locked him up. The thing that really amazes me is a fool that doesn't know poison when it's touching her lips. Oh, God, what have I done? You were just being a good mother. Oh, that's perfect for you. Get in. <laughs> what do you think? Hmm? Hey, I'm going to be your daughter-in-law. You're going to have a lot to say about the wedding. What do you think? It's beautiful, Jimmy Sue, but it's wise. Here, help me with this. I never had a real dress when I married Terry. I don't see why I can't wear what I want. Well, I didn't say I didn't like it. Anyway, it doesn't matter what we think. What matters is what Michael thinks. Take a picture of you, Mom. <laughs> okay. Hang on. You ready? <laughs> Another one, okay? <laughs> Whenever we go shopping, I buy too much. Whenever we go and have lunch, I eat too much. You worry too much, girl. Oh, I gotta get home. Why? It's early. No, no, Junior might call. Is he worried about something? Yeah. Yeah, he's worried you might be seeing other guys. <laughs> well, the next time you see him, you tell him he's right. Just don't tell him we're doing it together. Uh, Where are you taking me? Never mind. <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> What is this place? I think it's time to start having a little fun. Oh, oh Jimmy Sue, you don't understand. Dancing is something I do not do. Yeah? Hi, I'm Donnie. Who wants to go first? I don't dance. She dances. Just give her a minute. I'll start. They're so young. Tell me about it. I'm Manuel. What would you like to work on today? Oh, I'm, I'm just going to watch. <laughs> yeah, right. Now, I bet you're a good dancer. <laughs> hey, your friend already paid for the hour, so what have you got to do this? I can't dance for this music. I've never been able to dance fast. Maybe if they put on something slow. We'll start slowly. Just let me lead, okay? Hustling me. <laughs> you are a great dancer. That's <laughs> <laughs> great. That's the girl my to know. Here. Here. Just do what I do. Hey, 
Hey, how you doing? We wanted you to see this. I, Jimmy Sufinger, do hereby recognize Michael Carl Ketman, Jr. as my common-law husband. She's all um, notarized and everything? Look, I know y'all been kind of suspicious of me all along. I understand that, I do. But I've never lied to you. I want you to know that I've never lied to you or Blanche. Yeah. Or even Terry, for that matter. I've been in love with Michael for a long time. Well, that makes me rest a lot easier. Look, he's having a hard time, a real rough time. I mean, you know yourself, he's only a boy. Anyways, we, we, we think it'd be really great. It would really help him to see people, wouldn't it? I mean, to know life goes on. Yeah, right. Christmas is coming. You know, and... It isn't going to be easy for him in prison the first Christmas. Right. And and wives are allowed. I mean, the parole board regulations are very clear on that. Very clear. Well, you know, maybe I can get you two lovebirds conjugal visits. I mean, and that trip to Alto, I mean, that's a killer. Maybe we can get the parole board to let you put a motor home up there in the prison yard. A good kid makes one mistake and suddenly he's a Boston Strangler. Come on, Brush, let's just get out of here. I don't care about Julian, that's for sure. Well, he cares about is not having to prize Pat's butt out of his chair. Just a minute. Nice hair. Thank you. Suddenly you're her best friend? What are you doing? <laughs> well, you're assuming that she's guilty. And you're not? You've investigated the situation and decided that your son, the altar boy, acted alone? Jimmy Sue did not believe that he was going to hurt Terry, and now she's doing everything she can to get him out of prison. And the Marquis de Sade just had this thing for lingerie. I don't know what you're doing. But you're playing with fire. If Jimmy Sue is guilty, Detective, why haven't you charged her? Wimp. I'm a painter. I'm an experienced painter. Bull, man. Now, what you ever paint? My grandma's outhouse. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> Why you always paint butterflies flitting around flowers? Yeah. They mean something to me? I think dude thinks he's a butterfly, man. <laughs> I think he's just a flip. <laughs> you could be right about that. All right. Why don't you guys just leave? Well, why don't you paint your mama with a butterfly on her nose, huh? It's not my mother. Hey. Man, you got one fine young grandma. Look at it. Man. I know what you guys are doing. I don't got any beef with you. Why don't you just give me the picture back? Try to tell us who the bitch is. It's my wife. I don't talk about your wives, so why don't you just let me... let me have the picture. Man, I see why you got problems. Your wife's old enough to be your grandmammy. Hold it! Give me some... <laughs> Boy, this year? Very patient, boy. 
Okay, you get your present. <laughs> Do you like it, Daddy? Well, I always like something with a little bit of warmth. Thank you. I want to make some more eggnog. Uncle Ben's now. Oh, Angela, come on now. We agreed. Y'all are going to have dinner here. Mm -hmm. Um, this is for Michael. Uh, I even give it to him on Sunday, and I want you to see it first. Oh, Jimmy, it's beautiful. Oh, it's engraved, too, isn't it? It's 14 karat gold plated. Wow. You can wrap it up real pretty if you would, and then and then when you give it to him, you can say it's from both of us. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> what you're doing, Mama? You think it's smart? We're friends. Oh, you're not friends, and you know it. I'll tell you one thing. Having her around just ruined Kristen. Oh, come on. It wasn't that bad. Mama, she is not stupid. I mean, don't you think she knows how we feel about her? Junior asked us to take her in. Getting her confidence is part of the plan. Oh, you have a plan. That's news. Yes, to get in close to find out where she's vulnerable. And what does that mean? I mean, you, you hope she'll choke on a turkey bone? I think Mama knows what she's doing, Donna. I think Jimmy Sue has wrapped you both around her little finger the same way she did Junior. Well, she's helping him get a new lawyer. What are you doing to help him? Well, I'm not going out dancing a couple nights a week. Huh? I'm not going out shopping every Saturday. She loves him, Donna. She seems to love him whatever else. Yeah, well, you're more in love with her than Junior ever was. I feel sorry for her. And I miss Junior, and she misses him, too. We keep each other from getting lonely, all right? Well, well, well. Loneliness is one of the big drawbacks to having your old man killed. One day she will feel that we are so close that she will admit that she did it. Well, and that's it? I mean, that's the famous plan? What happens then? Now, are you planning on testifying against her? Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, that's great. The jury is going to love that. The crazy lady who likes to rumble with Manuel, they're going to be hanging on every word. Then tell me how I do it, Donna. How does someone like me trap a murderer, huh? Is that what this is, Mama? This is a trial? Because you could have fooled me. I thought you were just out having a good time when my brother gets the crap beat out of him up in Aldo. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Blanchard will see you now. Right. <laughs> Hi. Hi, good morning. I'm Jimmy Sue. Jimmy Sue? George uh, Blanchard? Blanche Ketman. Miss Ketman, nice to meet you. These are the transcripts. Right. Uh, please, have a seat. I'm sorry it took so long for us to meet. <clears throat> it was supposed to be a one-week trial. Ended up being two months. Well, you wait for the best. Well, I was telling Mike's mother that you specialize in hopeless cases. Appeals, ma'am. But I have to warn you, I don't win them all. Well, this case was a travesty of justice. I mean, Michael Ketman had never done anything wrong in his whole life. He was under a lot of stress at the time of the crime. Yeah, he believed my husband was trying to kill him, which he was. And he was very disoriented at the time of the shooting. That's right. Um, he had lost the ability to tell right from wrong. And why was he disoriented? Insane was what he was. I mean, if I'd been his lawyer, I would have pleaded temporary insanity instead of self-defense. Y'all don't have to be a lawyer to see that. <laughs> well, 
Let's see what we can have here. What do you think, Mr. Blanchard? Will you take the case? Well, I'd have to read through all this. If you meet Michael, you'll see that he is really a good boy. Really is. Mm. Will you talk with him at least? My standard retainer, Mrs. Ketman, is $5,000. I had no idea, because he's so good. Who do I make the check out to? You can make it out to me. Is his name here? <laughs> That's right, Jordan Blanchard. Seen any of the letters your girlfriend's been sending to the parole board? She's trying to get me out. You're doing life. You gotta serve seven years before you're even eligible for parole. Letters aren't gonna do squat. Proves she loves me. Or she wants you to think she loves you. You said you had something you wanted to talk over with me. I do. About you coming to your senses. Telling the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I know she loves me. Come on, kid. You think a woman who looks like that staying home Saturday night? My mom would tell me if anything was going on. Oh, so you trust the beautiful widow so much you're having your mom spy on her for you. I told my mom to take care of her. Well, coyotes like it when a lamb shows up to take care of them. You know everything, right? Maybe they're lonely. Did you ever think about that? Maybe they're keeping each other company? And maybe somebody needs a pipeline to where your head's at. Prove it. I don't have to prove anything. Jimmy Sue's out walking around on the street, scot-free. I know that she loves me. She didn't have to sign a paper saying that we're married, did she? Are you talking about the common law wife routine? <laughs> you ever heard of spousal privilege? What's that? Look it up in the law library. Jimmy Sue thinks if she can prove you're a man and wife, you can't testify against her. That's why she got all those certified official affidavits. Of course, what she doesn't realize is, once you decide to turn on her, you can testify all you want. She knows I'd never testify against her. If she's your common-law wife, Mike, where's your half of the insurance money? Think about it. Conditioning in the office is on the fritz again. Couldn't bear going straight out to that trailer. Why don't you take a swim? Make yourself at home. Maybe we could go for some dinner after? I can't, sugar. I'm back on my diet. It'd be nice if you occasionally invited me over. I've been so busy. Hmm. Giving Blanche her daily fluff and comb. That wasn't very nice. When I was little, I used to think, uh, if only Daddy weren't around, I could have you all to myself. Everything would be great. It is a lot nicer. Yeah. And I live in a trailer. <laughs> hey, don't give me that. You were the one that wanted a place of your own. I didn't want to live on Wren Circle after what happened really mean is sacrifice it all for me mama but i'm taking a hike what sacrifice did you make mama i mean i bust my hump all through school to get a's so i can go to college you take the insurance money you sell the house you sell the cars now you can't afford to send me to school you want to see my bank book i don't have to and i know where the money went and for lawyers, for Mike, and new carpeting for Mike's room. Do you suppose I did that, Angela? Because he made you feel 20 again? No. I did it for you. 
You just stop lying to me, Mom. No, no, I did it all for you. What I'm doing, look at me. What I'm doing right now, holding it together, that's for you, too. But you just admit it. I mean, you like Mike. Forget Mike. You like Blanche Gatman better than me. <laughs> you ungrateful brat. He was my father, Mama. I never said I wanted you to kill him. You know what my daughter just had the nerve to tell me? No. What? That I dumped her. She wanted to move out. Of course the little bitch wanted to move out. You know what else she said? Jimmy, calm down. Come on, let's get you a drink. She told me that I liked you more in my own flesh and blood. How do you like that? I mean, she thinks she's had it so hard. I mean, my whole life has been, was one big... I mean, she has no idea how much worse it was for me. It was awful for you. I mean, having to stand by and watch it happen, and I mean, did I ever tell you that the night of the murder, Terry forced me to have sex with him? Not once, either. Oh, God. He thought he could shame me. He always thought that. He thought he could turn me into some mousy little nothing, you know, that I'd just close my eyes and roll over for him. No way. No, of course not. I wasn't going to let him get away with that kind of crap. I wasn't brought up to look the other way. I did it for her, for Angela, and now she, she comes, you know, puking at me. Oh, Mama, we never talk. Did what for her, Jimmy? What Michael did, it was for her. I mean, it was for me mostly, but I, you know, if I didn't love my daughter so much, there wouldn't have been no point to it. Well, we all know what happened. Angela's just having a problem dealing with it. What do we all know happened? Well, I'm your friend. It doesn't really matter now, does it, what happened? You are never going to believe what happened today. Hey, cuz condenser exploding. Yeah, he called me. Water's running through the ceiling. Marge is screaming at me, then the doggone lantern goes dead. Well, I made you meatloaf. Sit down, now. No, I gotta get over there, hon. I gotta get over there. Oh. Be right back. My. Don't How me... can you work if you don't eat? Don't wake up for me now. It's gonna take a while. <sighs> It's an emergency, though. Looks like a stroke. We're number three. Well, you guys have been bringing him in constantly tonight. Must be a full moon. 
You doing okay? Just relax. Put her on this one. Okay. Just relax now. You're going to be fine. You're going to be okay. Now I know. Doctors finally decided it was some kind of humongous migraine. Oh, I just put some coffee on. I don't think it's ready yet. No, no, no. I was just driving by. I can't stay. I still don't think you ought to be doing that. Well, I'm just going out of my mind, sitting around. Figure I better fix up the place while I'm waiting for Michael. I don't know. I might just sell it. Move on. Move on? Where to? I don't know. Well, don't move. I've missed you so much. Well, whatever happens, I gotta move on with my life. I mean, Michael feels the same way. I mean, you know, it's time to put the past behind us. Hey, there's enough for two cups. Okay, uh, just a half for me, though. That one of Junior's shirts. Yeah, lots of memories. You hear from Blanchard? Yeah, didn't you get a letter from him? There's a motion for a new trial next month. Huh. I get so much mail, you know, I just got to get around to reading some of it. If it's not from Alto, I just don't bother. Well, we had reservations all set at Sea Island, but Roxanne had to cancel them because we want to be back for the hearing. Everybody says Blanchard really knows his stuff. Oh, yeah, Jimmy. All those people you got to write letters and hiring Blanchard, it's all beginning to pay off. It was all just such a nightmare. I just can't wait for it to be over. Well, okay. Hey, what are you doing? You don't get all your pretty new clothes all dirty. Oh, it doesn't matter. Besides, if you fall off that ladder, who's going to catch it? Mama, they're calling Mike's motion for a new trial when Sharon's objective. <laughs> Jimmy had her machine on. She must be on her way. What is happening to Blanchard? Must be stuck in traffic or something. Hello, is Mr. Blanchard there? Yeah, this is Blanche Ketman. Well, he's supposed to be in court. No, no, no message. Where? You think he would have sent one of his assistants or something? <laughs> Mr. Sharon, what happened? Your counsel didn't show up. The judge accepted our motion to dismiss. Why would he just not show up? I don't know. Have you been paying your bills? Jimmy Sue has. She got her money's worth today. Excuse me. Is uh, Angela's mama here? Who's Angela? Oh, uh, Wayne. Uh -huh. Did you meet everybody? No. This is um, Blanche and uh, Donna. Hi, Wayne. Wayne Seagrove. Hey. 
What do you do? What do you do, Wayne? He's a killer. <laughs> I, I work for an exterminating company, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's a joke. joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, come on in. Y'all come on in. Huh? Hey, look, there's some uh, leaves yeah. in the pool. Can you plant up that little fishnet thing and just get them out? Please? Yeah, 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 I sure can. Okay. Hey, it was nice to meet y'all. It's nice to meet you too, Donna. Okay. He's looking after my pool. Jimmy. Judge Robinson was supposed to hear Junior's motion this morning. Where were you? Well, that was a real long shot, don't you think? I mean, all my friends told me that they didn't even think it was in my best interest to even show up. Your best interest? Give me a break. They all advised me, you know, just to get on with my life. What about, what about Junior's life, Jimmy? He's doing so much better now with all his art classes and his electrical shop. I mean, don't you think it'd be kind of cruel to get his hopes up like that? For nothing, I do. And my hopes? Maybe it's time you, uh, you ought to start thinking about getting on with your life. Her life's just great. She didn't have leaves in her pool. She didn't even have a pool. Come on, Mama, let's go. I'm ready. I got her. I can't talk right now. I'm in the middle of something. Look, look, look. I know you think I'm an idiot, but we've got her now. Come back this afternoon, okay? What, a murder case? A murder case? You want me to make an appointment? <clears throat> Give him five or something. Bring him some coffee. She admitted that she masterminded the whole thing. She told me she did it for her daughter. Is this your big breakthrough? No, she got a new boyfriend. I'm going up Sunday to tell Mike. I can get him to turn on her now. I'll talk to you Monday. I'll call you Sunday if you give me your home number. You think I'm off the wall, don't you? Miss Kaplan, you're a nice lady. Don't get your hopes up. I mean, she's probably already told him about her boyfriend. All she'd have to do is tell him she's lonely, and doesn't mean anything. There's a million things she could have told him. You just don't get it, do you? Well, maybe I don't. I should have seen the look in her eye when she realized that I heard her make a slip. Can't go to court with a look in her eye. She was afraid. I made her afraid. I am running the show now. I can turn Michael. <laughs> Kevin, it's good to see you again. Hi, George. Right. Go ahead, sit down. Well, I have to tell you, I've been waiting a long time for this meeting, Mrs. Catman. George says he's finally ready to turn on. Yeah, I think so. You see, Junior still loves her. And uh, this new guy is like salt in a wound. There's a long way between jealousy and being willing to stand up in court and admit you perjured yourself. Well, no, we don't need to ask him to do that yet. What we do need is an admission of guilt from her. Well, she's already admitted it to me. Well, you're not exactly an unbiased witness. No jury is going to believe you. An admission on tape would do it. Sting? Hmm. Well, she's been trying to get into Alta for a long time now. Why don't we just open the door for her? Then wire Mike. Mm -hmm. But how'd we get her up to Alta? Well, you'd have to tell her that Mike needs to see her. You'd have to convince her that Mike still loves her enough that this Wayne guy could push him back over the edge. All of which is true. You just need to shade the truth a little to make her worry. But she's my friend. How do I live with myself if I do this? You can't have it both ways, Blanche. Okay, George. Let's shut it down. No, wait. I'll do it. I'll do it. At least I'll try to do it. 
Tell me what, what you need exactly. I need three things before I can go to court. First, my cast admit that he perjured himself and that she really did plan the murder. But the testimony of a co-conspirator isn't enough. We need some other evidence to corroborate his story. And finally, we need an admission of guilt from Jimmy Sue herself. Blanche, what we need is something in writing. Well, they have written each other letters. Have you seen any of them? Mm -mm. But I don't think she'd be dumb enough to put anything incriminating in them. Well, can we decide that? <laughs> Nice to meet you. You too. You know whether or not they have rings in here, or do you think it'd probably be better to go to a jewelry store? What kind of rings? Diamond ones. That's Jimmy Sue to marry me. <laughs> they got rings. You go on. I'll, I'll be right here. <laughs> I know that look. You didn't even tell me, Jimmy. What, you want me to read about it in the paper? It just happened. Hey, look, I want you both to understand. I think I just need to get other men out of my system. Oh, God. What a fool I have been. Hey, nothing's changed. I'm waiting for Michael. Yeah, while well, you're on your honeymoon with that. Oh, God, Jimmy, he's young enough to be your son. I don't really deserve anyone as fine as Michael. No, you sure the hell don't. You know what I want? I want his ring back, and I want all of his letters back. And I don't ever want to see you again. Oh, Blanche, I know you had all those plans, and... I'm going to be happy someday, and I want you to know I thought about it hard, and I even prayed, and I, I, I really feel it's the right thing for us to do. Well, I'm glad you got the Lord in your court, Jimmy. Have you even told Junior yet? Of course, I've, I've written him all about it. I've released him from his promises. So he understands. I believe you cared about him. I do care about him. Wayne cares, too. He even set the wedding date for Michael's birthday. How thoughtful. Oh, no, don't be like this. Oh, get away from me. And get away from my family. And get the hell out of my life. Mama. Mama, think about it. Junior is free of her. Wait until she finds out they are getting married on his birthday. I know, I know, but I blew it, Roxanne. She really makes me mad. <laughs> no, but it's my fault, too. I didn't. I mean, I couldn't say anything. No, but I... Oh, she didn't. Now, you know, you watch. She will never give us back anything. She's going to use this to make a clean break. You just watch. I know it. Oh, Got what? Junior's letters to Jimmy Sue. She gave them to us? Huh? I found them on the back porch. Look, look, her note says she doesn't want you to be mad at her, Mama. Mama, they're good. They're really good. They're what Mr. Sharon needs. Listen to this. Now, I want you to listen to me carefully. I'm going to get out of here without you having to take the blame for me. Jimmy, please don't do that for me. Promise me. You are the center of my life, my rose. I will love you always. Oh, God, I feel like such a peeping Tom. I mean, how can we ever hand these over to court to be read out loud? So convict her, Mama. You got to give them to Mr. Sharon. Yeah. She gave us the letters you wrote her. She didn't have any right to do that. 
But she doesn't think about what's right. She doesn't think about other people. Malone, he thinks she's a sociopath. He says there are two things you're never going to change about Jimmy Sue. What? One, she believes she's innocent. And two, she also believes that she can manipulate anybody. I mean, she's marrying Wayne on your birthday. She says she... He's just company. She says she doesn't love him. You see? And you believe everything she says after all this happened? What's going on? For months you've been telling me how great she is. What did she do to you? She put my son in prison. I killed Terry, Mama. And nothing I do is ever going to change that. No. No. Junior, listen to me. You wouldn't have killed Terry if she hadn't wanted you to. You were the loaded gun in her hand. It was her doing too. Now the Bible says the truth shall make you free. Get free of her. Look, she tricked both of us about Wayne, about Blanchard. She had all these plans for us. We used to talk every day and then she stopped calling. I thought that she was my friend. She acted like she was my friend. I thought that we had a happy future together somehow, all of us. But that's what she does. She keeps the flame alive. And I know her now. Keeping the flame alive is more important than you or Wayne. Or you. She's gonna get away with it, Mama. That's just the way it is. No. You can change the lies you told at your trial. Her lies. Mr. Sharon can stop her if you give him the letters that she wrote you. She said this was gonna be for our wedding. I know. I took that picture. That dress. Did she ever buy it? She told the girl she had to think about it. She never came back. Mr. Sharon, I want to talk to him. Even if I can get this through the Board of Corrections, there'll be risks for Mike. What risks? I mean, what's he going to do, pat him down? We'll be right in the next room. That's the problem. This prison is full of inmates who hate Tom. If somebody spots him, the whole place is going to know about it in 10 minutes. If Mike gets branded as a stoolie, he could be... Well, it could be bad. Well, what if no one sees me? Well, obviously, that's what we'll try. But the inmate is the one who bears the risk. And I want him to know what that is. If he does take the risk and testifies against her, does he get out any earlier? No, there won't be any deals made on this one. Now, we'll agree not to prosecute you for the perjury, but that's all you'll get out of it. And, uh, when it's over, I'll write a letter to the parole board saying that you cooperated in testifying against Jimmy Sue. Now, whether or not that'll help you, uh, strictly up to them. Look, Mike, we're not gonna hide anything from you. 
That woman thumbed her nose at us. And she thumbed her nose at you with her new squeeze as soon as you were locked up in here. Now, we want her. The question is, do you want her? She made you into the person who killed Terry. She got to pay for doing that. I think about Terry. Every day of my life. I'm not asking for any deals. You'll also have to trap her into admitting that she uh, helped plan the murder. Do that. I'll do it. Can I come in? Sure. Hey, Wayne. Hi. I'm gonna go cool off, okay? Sure. Jimmy, mm -hmm. I am sorry about the way I acted the other week. I was just so mad about, you know. Hey, guess what? I got a call this morning from Junior, and he finally got you on the visitor's list. I'm burning up. I'm going to have some iced tea. You want some? No, I'm, I'm fine. I thought you'd be happy. You wanted to visit him for so long. I am happy. You're stepping me like a little puppy. See, I told you I'd get him back for you. Now he never calls me. He only calls his mama. Just the way it should be. Yeah, but you're getting married. Well, Michael's fine with all that. Jimmy, you're not talking to him every day like I am. Believe me, he is not fine with it. Has he said something? Oh, he is so jealous of Wayne. He even asked me if I knew where Wayne was living. <sighs> He's living at his apartment. You can tell him that, okay? Well, I'm just afraid that he's going to call here and get Wayne, and that might set him off, you know, stir up a whole hornet's nest again. What do you mean? The DA, you know. Sharon's just itching to get back in this thing. These guys, they just, they can't ever let anything rest, can they? Well, he loves you so much, Jimmy. I mean, you're the only one that can set him straight about this. Okay. Maybe it would be a good idea I go up there and I'll talk to him. <laughs> Jimmy, that's wonderful. <laughs> I'm going to go home right now and I'm going to tell Junior. He'll be so happy about that. Bye, Wayne. See you soon.
figured that one would probably strip search me. Instead, she nearly takes me to a cell and tells me to take off my clothes. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm going to wait out here, and uh, you just take all the time that you need, okay? What's the matter? Nothing. How do I look? Like dynamite. Jimmy? Uh, keep his spirits up. Don't cross him. I start to cry. Uh, uh, What's the matter? I don't know. It's been so long. You, know, you don't have to be nervous around me, of all people. I feel strange sitting here. Yeah, I bet it does. After all the times I tried to get in here, I was thinking, why now? Even why now are they letting me in? Michael? Thanks. I think I'm better. How's he doing? Has she said anything yet? Oh. He's acting kind of queasy. He's acting like a lovesick calf. You're wearing that blouse. <laughs> yeah, I want to look good for my man. <laughs> you remember the first time you wore it? Yeah, at the lake, and then that Sunday we, we were dancing. Terry came in. <sighs> I was so mixed up. I didn't know what to do. I just wanted to protect you from him. Man, why didn't we just run away or something? He can't bring himself to turn on her. I know how he feels. Give him a chance. So you're getting married. <laughs> yeah, uh, two weeks from today. I'm... Getting cold feet. Congratulations. Wayne's a lucky guy. It's like I told you, Michael. Wayne's just company. I need somebody while you're gone. That's all. What about when I'm back? Even though I'm getting married in two weeks, I feel like somewhere down the line we're still going to be together. Sorry you resent me so much. I, I, I don't. I, look, I hope you and Wayne are real happy. No, look, no. I'll tell you to your face. I love him, but I'm not in love with him. Who were you in love with then? I vowed after I hurt you, I'd never let another man that close to my heart. My stomach is feeling really bad. I think I better lie down. I am sorry. I don't want to leave you this upset. Oh, my gosh. Poor kid. He can do it. I know he can. I don't want to go. I don't want you to go. When you go back to your room and you get a million little thoughts running through your head, just remember I love you. If you look at that, all those months, all that time it took to clear this thing through correction, and we walk away with zilch. They're still talking. Look, let me work on him for another time. Let me work on both of them. It's over. It's obvious that he'll never get over her. No, he won't get over her if you don't give him a chance to. Tom, 
You want him to wake up 20 years from now and realize he threw his whole life away because of that? He's a good kid. I like him. We all like him. He did the best he could. Please, give him another chance. No. We try. Shut it down, boys. She did it. She pulled it off. She knows I know she's guilty. The DA knows. The whole town knows. You don't think she gets off on that? No. I think she's trying to hold it all together. No way. No way. She's got the insurance money. She's got Wayne. She sold her shop. She's on her she way to... She sold her shop? Yeah, that's what I heard. She's gonna leave town. Hey, Jimmy. What? What? Hi. Okay. Hi. Why don't you eat yourself some day? We got all these hors d'oeuvres here. Hey, kids, eat all the cake you want. Just eat it all up, okay? Paul Jr. today on his birthday. Hey, that's right. How's he doing? Mm, let's have some champagne. Uh, hey, Connie, you get... <laughs> Please, thank God, I don't want to do with all this cake. <laughs> I didn't want to bother you on your wedding day, but... Yeah, but here you are, huh? Surprise! <laughs> yeah. But Junior's out of control, Jimmy. Well, he's just going to have to get used to it, isn't he? I gone and done it now. <laughs> but I mean it. I mean, I frankly don't know what he's likely to do. Well, you know, I don't think you should let his, uh, high, his moods upset you, honey. I mean, he seemed pretty much like the same old Mark to me. No, but he asked me, he asked me to call Tom Sharon. Did you? No, I mean, rehashing it all will just hurt you. Yeah, I don't see the point. Yeah, but he might call him himself. Well, nobody can stop him from doing that, can they? No. Oh, uh, I gotta get home. Uh, <laughs> but listen, I want you to put this out of your mind now. I mean, yeah. you know, on this day of all days. Yeah, yeah I just wanted to warn you. Man! Jenny! Let me get done. Let me get done. <laughs> oh, you look great. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I didn't know that you knew Jimmy, too. Hey, Blanche. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Uh, I just don't want you to worry about our boy. Let's go see him on Sunday, okay? Jimmy Sue, nobody can handle them the way you can. Yeah. We'll go have fun. There's nothing to keep her in Kennesaw now. This time you really gotta do it. I know. I know. It's just when she's sitting there so close. She used you? She convinced you that Terry wanted to kill you? She made you crazy about this evil man who needed to die? She lied to you until you lied to yourself. I think about that a lot. Well, if she moves away, she'll be free forever. This is your last chance to succeed. Now, she'll come here again because she thinks you don't have the guts to stand up to her. Prove her wrong. Well, aren't we just doing the same thing? You're trying to trap her? I mean, how do you feel about that? Truth shall make us free. Get free. Now. Do it. Tom Sharon. Tom Hines Blanche. Look, I'm at Alpha, and Junior just told me that he can get her to admit that she planned the murder, and she is willing to come up here again on Sunday. Please give it one more try, will you? You're a piece of work, Blanche. He will do it this time. I know he will. All right. One more time. <laughs> okay, thanks. See you soon. Bye-bye.
for anybody. Look, you're not responsible for any of it. You're not responsible because God let happen what happened. Right. So don't let it eat you up. You're too good a person to let it destroy you. Don't let it eat you. It's just sitting in here, you know, taking the full blunt of all of it. It's, it gets... You don't have nothing to feel guilty over. Listen, you can destroy Terry's life. Terry's in fact, about two o'clock in the morning, I woke up and and I heard someone say to me, Sue, and I turned around. Terry was standing by my bed. I'm telling, I'm here to tell you, just freaked me out, you know? And he said, I've forgiven you and I've forgiven Mike and I'm at peace. And he left. And that's something. I mean, I feel like God just let him come back to release us a little bit. I just want to know one thing. All that time, did you want him dead? I don't know. That's a tough question. At times, yeah, you know. I hated him enough to want him dead for what he did to Angela. Are you rubbing my leg intentionally or are you just rubbing it? My hand was just there. <laughs> just there? <laughs> I don't want you to get kicked out of this place and me too. Did Angela know what was going to happen that night? No. I know you are going to do this. You had to. And you told me time and time again. But when Sally showed up at the door that night... I had no idea. You, after you called me that morning... I called you that morning? I don't know. I just blocked it out of my mind. I don't, I don't know. You called me that morning to tell me that Angela would be out that night after I told you I had a girl. And you remember what you told me? For her to say that that uh, she was a friend of Angela's or something. I remember somewhere along the line saying that. Right. Look, I'm sorry. You know, I really wish I remembered all those things. I'm sure I did if you say I did. I guess I need to block everything up. I guess you are. You do. It'll help. Block them out, honey. I just think about it. All the planning that went into it, you know, and how we planned it all together. Right? See, I, I don't remember none of that. But I'm glad I don't. Yeah, you do. You've got to. I don't. Let me block it out. You want me to remember it? Yeah, in a way. Why? I don't know. It helps me. It helps you. Say one thing, but your eyes don't lie. 
what I'm always saying. I think more than you want them to say. What are they saying? Right now? That they're awful happy. <laughs> Just looking at them brown eyes. What are you seeing him today? Contacts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing them today. <laughs> okay. And if it helps you, okay, I can put pieces of it together. We agreed. Remember? We agreed. You remember what we agreed? We agreed to say she had car trouble or something. And who was it who told me where to get the gun? You didn't. I let you down. I'm as responsible for what happened as you are. Right. And you know it. I know. Everybody knows it, I guess. We got her. Did you see him put his hand up under the table? In a few more minutes, he'd be rolling around on the floor with him. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> There's some floating around out there somewhere in God's creation. No, I don't think so. And I don't think you'll find another one quite like me either. How did it go? Fine. Fine. Let's get going. Did you find out, um, did he say anything about her? Yeah, if he's gonna file for an appeal, I can told him I'd say whatever he wants me to say. Hi. Okay? I'll tell you one thing, though. Thanks, Esther. Uh, I'm so glad you're with me. This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> Okay, I'm faster than you are. Okay, sure. Okay. Wayne's waiting. We're having dinner with some friends. Hello? Anybody up there? <laughs> some of his friends are real funny. I mean, who'd ever think exterminators would have a sense of humor? Hey, come on, guys! Wake up! Jimmy Sue Finger, you're under arrest for a conspiracy to commit murder. Would you turn around, please, and extend your wrist? You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to counsel. You can make a statement. Whatever you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Boy, 
did a great job. Give me a hug. 